this is our little video of our trip through Bath and on, on, on to, to the River, River Avon. Avon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we managed lucky to get um, some nice nice moorings in the uh, top pound above, yeah. The, yeah. above top lock which was third lock number 13 yeah it was about they were good um, moorings yeah yeah P picturesque yeah. little moorings um, water point in there and then we had five locks to go through to get onto the river Avon and the uh, the deep lock yes <laughs> So it was a very deep lock. Yeah, 19 feet five inches. Yeah, second yeah. deepest in the country, and one of the one of the newest in the country. So that was built in 1976 when the uh, Rossiter uh, Road was built, which was the inner ring road. And there was originally two locks, lock eight and lock nine. And where the ring road was going to go across, it was actually going to cross one of the locks. So big, massive engineering project went on and the two locks eight and nine were totally rebuilt into one um, one deep lock which you'll see us now go through yeah well here's lock um i think it's lock eight and nine which we're coming through tomorrow and normally as you start to look over the edge you normally be seeing the bottom by now but it just keeps going and going and going very deep lock. Very deep. So there's the next leg of our journey. Oh, let me get this right. We're going to come out of the lock there and on to the River Avon. Oh, glorious morning. And we're now leaving Bath to embark on the Avon, River Avon. <coughs> Deb's had a few uh, reservations this morning, just had some bad feelings about it. So uh, we've got the anchor on ready, life jackets out ready. So fingers crossed. Anyway, join us and you'll find out if everything goes to plan. And there, over there, is the deep one we're going to go into. Big one. You can see the place 
where it comes out, the three points. Debbie's just opening the first paddle and we should be able to see where the water comes out. I've been told it comes out in three different places. There's the first one. Second one. And third one. On his way down, the, what they call the deep lock, 19 foot, 5 inches. We're going down. Lots of battery scars on the sides. like the spray from Niagara Falls. So, the jury's out on the gone goozers <laughs> side of things. Um, yeah, we've, we've, we've had a few before, but this was our first first big group of gone goozers. And it I, weren't a group, it was a crowd. You know, I, and I think some of them were American tourists, and they just happened to walk along, and obviously one of them had said, the uh, wife had said to the husband, oh, how do these work? And we turned what we up. turned up, yeah. yeah so we had a, a lot of but encouragement it, from them. It seems like um, if two people stop and look, everybody yeah, and their auntie yeah. want to know what they're looking at. Yeah, so, yeah. and it's before a, we knew it, we had twenty-three people, and I was like, I, I just went to pieces. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, <laughs> um, trying to undo the pad, deal with the paddle. I mean. We, I, I just yeah, couldn't yeah, believe yeah, it. You'd, I was, you'd have thought that was Deb's first first yeah. lock. Yeah, yeah you, you're not a not a. I'm not a, no, I'm not a fan performer. of Gongo. No, no, not a lot. Not, not a, a fan of Gongo. Performer, yeah. but no, it, it, it was fun. <laughs> kept them he amused. loves it. Kept them amused. <laughs>
we've done it. Where are we? We're on the River Avon. Yeah, much too... I'll explain another day. Yeah. But we're but here. We, we're here. Yeah. And it was, it was extremely hard work. And uh, Fran was right, the, the deep lock. Uh, 100, 134 turns to close and shut the yeah, gate. Yeah, to sh close and that, shut the gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah because it's on a, uh, a winding windlass mechanism. Yeah. Well, it's 134 to open it and 134 to close yeah, it. Yeah. So, 268. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. I've earned my keep. <laughs> yeah, so um, we. I don't know what, how, how to put it. Um, we. We didn't meet them, but we came across some um, extremely colourful characters. That's what I will call them. Yeah, yeah. Colourful characters. Colourful, um, not doing anybody any harm at all. Scantily clad, um, colourful. Yeah, whilst I was eating my scrambled egg, um, an, an older chap walked past the boat with a T-shirt on and, and nothing, nothing else. else. And the T-shirt didn't cover... No. <laughs> Um, and put me right off my scrambled egg. <laughs> Gravity had taken hold of things. Anyway, it was, yeah, too, yeah. too much information there. And, and then there was a, a young lady that was sitting on the opposite side of the lock as we were walking up. Cross-legged. Cross-legged with her back to us with nothing on from the waist Just down. Just a, a little crop top. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was strange. strange. And then a guy on a boat. Yeah, I, I think I was visited by... Um, all I could call him would be the local pharmacist who offered me some of his uh, herbal remedies to help me chill out. And yeah. I mean, my reply to him was, look, pal, do I look like I need anything to chill out? And yeah. uh, he bid me farewell and... Uh, With the biggest gurn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd, he'd win a gurning championship. I yeah. Think. yeah. Nice chap, though. Yeah, they, they're harmless enough. It was just strange that it all happened within 24 hours this these three things happened and it was like oh my god yeah <laughs> yeah so if you go to bath be yeah. prepared Pre prepared, yeah. prepared for some colorful characters yeah so we got through that bottom lock and onto the river avon da -da. um and lovely absolutely wonderful but sort of uneventful you yeah. know apart from the scenery and and bits and pieces very very limited mooring yeah very limited yeah um so we we couldn't actually find anywhere to moor till we we cruised all the way through to hannam yeah hannam, hannam lock. Lock. It was quite a long yeah, day luckily yeah. just managed to uh squeeze, squeeze in, in there for the weekend yeah yeah we had sort of two nights there didn't we yeah yeah, yeah. one um a little bit of a noisy rowdy night uh, another the, colourful character yeah with a bit of a domestic going on yeah more <laughs> colourful characters yeah yeah, yeah. Um, but apart, apart from that it was okay it and didn't then, bother yeah. us didn't bother us yeah. it was just something else to yeah. add to whatever yeah and then obviously turned around come back up the River Avon again yeah. uneventful yeah. and got back to Bath <laughs>
for, sorry, 48 hour moorings, just before Hanham Lock. So we spend the bank holiday there. And there's two pubs. We've got the Checkers Inn and the Lock and Weir. Well, our boat is moored just there. There's a boat moored there, which has just had an argument with that boat there and they've released their mooring lines and just let them drift off so I don't know where the people are where the people are who actually own that boat but their boat is now drifting down the river well we're at Hanham Lock and this is as far as we're going to go on the River Avon after this lock that then becomes tidal we'll be going through there what we'll be doing once we've filled up the water, we'll just reverse back up the cut there onto I think, the Avon and head that way back to Bath. Those are the moorings at Hannam Lock. I've actually left Deb at the tiller and I'm in the cratch you've got no engine noise just the ripple of the water coming from the bow wow i could do this all the time and there's debbie in charge of the boat well i think that's it for this week so if you enjoyed the little video hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe icon and the little bell icon next to it and then you'll get notified of and any you'll be notified of any future videos that yeah. come up yeah so uh, keep the comments coming yeah love, love the comments love, love the comments yeah, yeah and, i do love the comments uh, always take the time to uh, reply to those read and reply yeah yeah, yeah. so until next time yeah cheers <laughs>